Welcome guys to a new bomb era with Magblade for the new chapter Gold Road. The new scribing system provides a ton of new skills with unique stat combinations. Two of them are perfectly made for a bomber. First one is Elemental Explosion from the Destruction Skill line, a 2 second channel ground based burst damage ability. The range is 10 meters. With the right scripts, it teats easily over 10k plus damage, completely broken. The best focus script is the flame damage one, since most players in PvP will be vampire, as signature script, assassin's misery for the extra status effect damage, and as ethic script, you have two options here, off balance, which I use simply for the blue CP exploiter for extra tempest and flat damage, and the second one is brittle for 10% extra crit damage. Even if they would nerf this ability by 50%, it would be still overpowered as fuck. You can precast it without losing the cloak mechanic, which makes it even more effective for bomb blades. Second one is called Ulsid's Contingency from the mage skill line, basically a pre-buff to empower our bomb. Best focus script here is also the flame damage one. Signature one would be definitely Warrior's Opportunity, for extra 2k direct damage flat and as FX script you have two options breach for almost 3k penetration or vulnerability for 5% more damage but watch out with this ability it's really tricky to play with because we cannot use any skill afterwards otherwise it will insta proc I only recommend it for pure static bombs for example on a resource flag or repairing wall. If you need a scribing guide where to obtain those skills or scripts in general I will link one in the description below, check it out. Quick look on the sets. On the front bar I have Shattered Fate this time, gives us over 7k penetration, that's huge. I did some tests with Tarnished Nightmare, also works pretty good. And with Dark Convergence, the problem with Dark Convergence was simple, the initial burst damage with Ill Explosion and Soul Tether was that huge that the enemies got not even pulled together. Vicious Death is Bomb Set and by Log for the extra penetration weapon damage. Pretty basic here. Full Divines on the body, like this we have extra crit damage with the Shadow Mundus, full Max Magica Glyphs obviously. With full infused, bloodthirsty is also an option. Lightning stuff for the extra 12% more direct damage. In sharpened with the berserker glue for extra weapon damage. And back bar, I put just random restoration stuff, in this case potentates, but any weapon is fine here. With the escapist poisons, doesn't really matter. Skills, front bar karma hunter for major savagery, 12% crit rate, minor berserk 5% more damage, and slayer, 3% extra weapon and spell damage, just slotted. Silver bolt just slotted for slayer. Sepersense is spammable. You can also use Pulsar here. I prefer Sepersense for the extra healing. Mercer's Resolve for 10% extra crit damage with hemorrhage. And 300 extra weapon spell damage with 5 stacks. Shocking Explosion. I only have this morph. Flame damage would be definitely better. Soul Teller's Ultimate. Backbar Conceit Weapon. Just noted for mine expedition, we need extra movement speed. Shoot Offering as Burst Heal. Then Chen Exploration for Minor Force and Mage Expedition. Make sure to use this morph. Like I said before, with Contingency we cannot use another skill afterwards, so the longer duration here is better. As pre-buff Contingency, I rarely use it to be honest, only for pure static fights. And even then, depends on the situation, if I can hide properly, then I can use it, otherwise it's not really worth it, it brings you out of stealth and it's way too risky. Better option is Detonation. If you time it correctly, which is kinda hard with the 2 second channel, the burst damage with Detonation is mwah, delicious. Shadow Skies or Cloak ability and Soul Harvest just slotted on the back bar. Like this we gain ulti region. If we kill someone, Ray Stunma for the extra weapon spell damage, flame resistance, max magic and stamina. Slightly better would be high elf in this case for more damage. Mondus the Shadow for 17% crit damage with full divines. Gas the eyeball as buff food for the extra magic and recovery. Vamp stage 3 for undeath passive and strikes from the shadow. Another 300 extra weapon spell damage. Attribute points full max magica obviously. As potion, the detection potion with magica, sorcery and stealth detection. Blue CP's biting aura, mastered arms, backstabber and exploiter. If you use the brittle morph of explosion, use fighting fitness instead. And Red CP's Rejuvenation, Boundless Vitality, Bastion and Celebrity. Make sure to use Bastion, increase also 15% damage against shielded targets. And there's also a really important Green CP, Sustaining Shadows, reduce the cost of Sneak by 50%. Really helpful for every Bomber and Ganker. Rotation, let me show you one with Contingency first and then without it. First of all, make sure to be in a proper height position, pre-buff with Channel Acceleration, 
followed by contingency. Now do only use the sneak mechanic, do not use shadow disguise or any other ability. Step closer to your target and try to cast explosion in the mid range to avoid getting detected. Use soul tether afterwards followed by zappers and spam. Now without contingency, pre-buff with channel acceleration, use shadow disguise until you've reached your target. Now make sure to use explosion directly after your last shadow disguise. Don't wait too long, otherwise you will get detected during the explosion cast if disguise expires. Cast explosion followed by tether into zapper sense. Now the rotation with detonation. Same stuff, pre-buff with channel acceleration followed by detonation into shadow disguise. Cast ill explosion mid-range at around 2 to 2.5 two seconds before the detonation explodes followed by soul tether into Zapper Sands. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, enjoy the gameplay footage and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.